kind of you. Yeah, yeah. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? A little closer. Are we good? A little closer. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Is that a little better? Yeah. Well, hello, and thank you so much for coming. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. My name is Mike Collier, and I'm running for, I will be running for Lieutenant Governor, and I'd like to explain myself, and you'll see why I want to start my little presentation right here. I am contemplating a rematch for Lieutenant Governor against Dan Patrick. I won't mention his name a second time. We all know him, and we don't like him. And when I launched my campaign last time, I came to the Valley to launch it. And this time I haven't launched yet. I'm coming to the Valley before I launch it. Because I love the Rio Grande Valley. I love it. I really, really do. And I dragged my son along with me. I'm going to make him stand up. Stand up, Christopher. He's the boy that needs a haircut. And I said to him, he had some vacation, and I said, you've got to come to me, with me to see the Rio Grande Valley. You're going to love it as much as I do. And I do. And I'm very, very happy to be here. And so thank you all so much for coming. The, the background is really quite simple. I decided to run against El Diablo last time because he's a bad guy. Yes, he is. And this is a great state. And a great state deserves a good guy yeah. as Lieutenant Governor, right? Yeah, woo! Right, Chano? My good friend Chano. I'm so glad to see you. And folks said, well, you can't win. You can't beat the sitting Lieutenant Governor because the Lieutenant Governor is the most powerful, in my opinion, the most powerful position in the state. And I said, well, it doesn't matter whether I can't win. I've got to run against him. And watch, I might just beat him. And we came very, very close. We got within 4.8 points. And importantly, right up to election day, we were adding votes to our ledger. We just ran out of time. You know the old expression, a football team never lost a game, they just ran out of time, right? Well, I woke up the next day and I was a little bit disappointed, but I thought, you know, I'm just gonna stay on him. Because if we just stay on him and if we're persistent, we'll beat him. And then the next Lieutenant Governor will be a Democrat. Now, is that gonna be exciting? And I really do think we can beat him. And I saw a t-shirt here. And the first order of business is we're gonna fix the damn grid. Do you agree with that? Ken yeah. out, Ken out. Uh, I had to negotiate with my mother to use that word. <laughs> and she did not give her blessing. But she's not here today. And so we're going to take the fight to them. And it's about time that we had a Democrat hold statewide office. Yeah. And it's about time we had somebody who loved the Rio Grande Valley. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Yeah. So we can go to work and deal with the issues that people care about in this wonderful place. My passion is public education. Any teachers out there? Retired teachers? Yes, sir. Well, you guys know me. I mean, I got into this because if we don't get education right, we're not going to get anything right in the state. And the playing field is not level. And that isn't right. I think we have a moral obligation to our young people. It's good for the economy. And my grandmother was a teacher. And I love teachers. And public education is so important to me. And there's a whole lot of other things we need to do. Fix the damn grid. We have to worry about health care. You know, we are the most prosperous state in the country and the most prosperous country in the world. And everybody ought to have health care. Right? You agree? So we have all sorts of things we have to do. And I want to share with you, and we came down here, and this will be a short speech, don't worry. I'm not going to keep you up long, because I'll be back again and again and again. I don't want you to get too tired of me. But I want to share a story with you, and I have this handkerchief. I went to see Sister Norma today. Yes. Y'all know Sister Norma? Yeah! What a saint. And she showed me around that facility. What a remarkable woman. What a great thing she's doing for the community. And as she was describing it to me, we were standing under a tree outside, and a bird landed in the branch. Nobody thought anything of it, and it landed right on her head. Somebody said, don't take any shit from Sister Norma, but I did with his handkerchief. She didn't like that word. But she said, let's go inside. You're about to get baptized, too. And so my purpose in coming here, before I even launched the campaign, 
I mean, I have, a, I think I have an idea of what's on people's minds because I've campaigned a lot and I've come to the Rio Grande Valley many times, but you never can take anyone or anything for granted. And we have to win. And so I thought we're gonna show the whole state we're gonna come right for the Rio Grande Valley in the beginning, even before we launch the campaign and listen very, very carefully. Because my job as a candidate and then ultimately my job as Lieutenant Governor is to make sure this state serves the wonderful people in this community. And so we need to know what's on your mind. Not only what you're worried about, but how do we solve these problems? And I have this point of view that if you just listen to people, the solutions are not that hard. If you just listen. So the people in this community know how to solve the problems in this community. They just need to know who to talk to. And so I'm here to listen, which I'll do. And we'll announce the campaign officially in a couple of months. And then we'll be off to the races and then I can pledge to you this. Our next Lieutenant Governor will be a Democrat. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! And then when we achieve that goal, I can assure you that the Lieutenant Governor will be a great friend to the wonderful people. In you the got that Valley. right. And so I'm gonna walk around and visit with you. I wanna know what's on your mind. Please talk to me. Please tell me what you think. Let's open a dialogue and let's work together and then let's win this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks.